Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today uh, we're in the uh, new journal again. And uh, I believe this was the video I did the other day. So we'll just start from there and I'll show you what I've done thus far. And um, I believe a lot of these may have come out of Somerset. And this is a little bit of everywhere. And then I used some of the thin lids that uh, Sherry sent. And this is one. And see, I used some over here. They add just a little bit of character. Some more over here. With the flower, the, the um, frames. Used one here. And I believe these come out of uh, Somerset as well. And this is half Somerset, half uh, the Trigmo. And then the thin lids. And I think this was out of Vogue. And then I added the ladies' head from the Trigmo books. And this is Trigmo. And I think, and then uh, these were the, came with some of the thin lids. And I believe maybe this come out of Trigmo, but I mean, I just love the, uh, and the Trigmo is just such saturated colors and colors that really you're not going to be able to come up with yourself. It's just totally different uh, hue of colors. And... Okay, so today, okay, when I was rummaging through, okay, so I was going to use the Trigmo um, scraps, and here's one out of Pinterest, maybe, and this was my jumping off point. This was a clown. I cut the head off, and I think I'm going to add this girl's face. That's out of Trigmo, off of Pinterest. You can tell Somerset Studio, but since the, um, you know, cover so thick and it was so uh, glossy, I knew it wouldn't stay down as well, so I ran it off on my printer, which it did a really good job. And then here is just a bunch of Trigmo, um, you know, scraps that I really like the uh, green and blue hues. And we're going to try to find some way to incorporate those. And here is just an image I may use out of the magazine. And then I like these colors as well. But I haven't decided yet. Um, I think maybe we'll put down a bunch of the... Um, let's see, let's start, I think I want to put down a bunch of the lighter greens, that way we can add the, you know, we've got to add uh, our images that uh, I really don't want them to compete Although I love the colors, I don't need them competing with the background. Let's see, we'll just keep 
layering till we get what we want. You know, we always got uh, scraps. I keep all my scraps from the Trigmo. I hardly throw anything away, but yes, I do have to once in a while. Um, I kind of like this piece here that it had... Maybe some subtle colors. Um, let's see. Still not quite sure how I want to do this yet. I think I think I'll go ahead and put this down. Sometimes if I think too long about it, I'll you know, it's sort of like a missed opportunity that I wish I had. So if I thought it looked okay, let's just go with it. Okay, so I'm going to cut the flower out, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got that cut out, and we'll go ahead and start gluing down some things. I think this here is thick too because you can see I uh, actually used some cardstock that I was no longer using and that's a good idea uh, for any of your papers that you're not using. Just use all of your, uh, if you have a lot of uh, papers you're not using out of the, the big paper pads, just turn them over and uh, cut them down and use them for printer paper. At least it wouldn't be going to waste. These are just my scraps out of... Trig move. I hope I'm saying that right. I guess I could uh, probably look up to see if they have any new Trig move books. I think I've probably bought about six. And let's see, for some reason, I want to put that up there. Kind of like the background. You know me here lately, I've been getting carried away with the backgrounds. Okay, so here's the Somerset image. Put 
put this about right here. junk out the way and I think I want to still use uh, this pelican one day I'll give you all a craft room tour I did a painting of a pelican I've been doing several paintings here lately. I do a little bit of everything. Paint for a while. I think I want that to go over. Paint for a while. Collage for a while. Sketch for a while. this to go here then you know if this stuff is really thick I always just put glue down and do like that and just push it up under it Might take days for it to dry, but I don't have it popping up all the time. Okay, so I think I want to put this little girl on. That's another good thing about printing the cover of the Somerset. I guess you could uh, you know, use it again and again. If you really just like certain images. Or for all that goes, you know, if you like certain images out of the trick mode books, you could copy those also. Said I was gonna get some glue sticks, but I've yet to do so. And then this was, you know, the top of the bottle out of uh, the Vogue magazine. I think I just want to kind of bring a little bit of pink to this side. And it's just per se background noise. And here's one of my stamps that I believe I might have, uh, you know, uh, put watercolor on after I stamped them. I've made a bunch of them, and I've stuck them in this book, and I happened to be flipping through the book the other day, and I pulled them all out. Go ahead and cut that off. And do we want to use that? I think we will. And then this other stamp that I have.
I think I want to use that right there. I think I love it. I don't know if you all can see the brightness of it, but I do. And it's a good thing because it's a rainy day here and, you know, but it's sunshiny inside. And I believe that's all for me today, but I love it and I hope you do as well. And if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it, and as always, see you tomorrow.